They're the link between you and you getting help in the event of an emergency. Telecommunicators, dispatch, fire, police, and any other first responders to the scene of an emergency. As News 13's Courtney Evans tells us they're being honored this week during National Telecommunicators Week. National Telecommunications Week takes place each year during the second week in April. We represent the county uh, as a whole and here we have the sheriff's office and we represent fire and EMS on our side of the room. Uh, across the county, there's probably over 100 dispatchers spread out at different locations. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, someone is here to answer every single call. We actually dispatch around 200 calls in a 24-hour period, including EMS and fire for our agency. The sheriff's office matches us just a little bit more than we do. Uh, they have a little bit more responsibility. They're required to complete more than 750 hours of training before they're allowed to answer the phones. We are able to talk you through most instances uh, all the way from childbirth to CPR. And it happens more than you might think. Monday, this telecommunicator talked one caller through CPR for a person in distress. Ma'am, I have help on the way. I need you to get her onto her back. Some calls can result in a positive outcome, but other days, the 12 hour shift can be challenging. If it's one of those days where everything has just been traumatic and it's, um, you know, we're a coastal community, so we do have those days with double red flags with people in and out of the water, it can get very busy. So when we have days like that and you go home, you, you feel tired, you're dragging, you know, and you got to come back and do it all over again the next day. People who call 911 make a big difference in the outcome. You need to know exactly where you're at. If you don't know where you're at, it's just a general location. If you can give us uh, information on the buildings around you, names of the businesses, uh, if you see street signs, um, and basically why you're calling. Is it an injury? Is it an automobile accident? Is someone having a heart attack? Dispatchers ask precise questions to know how to respond to an emergency. Even if you accidentally dial 911, it's still important to answer all questions before hanging up. In Bay County, Courtney Evans, News 13, Panhandle Strong. A different agencies have something planned just about every day this week in honor of telecommunicators.